Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing good today. So about four days ago I made this post, as you can see in the screenshot on my Instagram. It was to support a Twitch streamer. So this is a comment I received pretty much instantly after the post went up. And you may notice the word alpha rigs. So here you can see I DM'd. I put, hi, I received a comment on a post I made to support a Twitch creator. I was told to DM you if I was interested in being part of the Alpha Riggs family. I'm not sure what you do exactly, so just message and to find a bit about that. So they responded quite quickly with pretty much a breakdown of what they're about and what they do. So as you can see, they are a setup, accessories and interior designer brand based in Los Angeles. Here they continue to say that they basically support charities. So... Reading that made me feel quite happy because, you know, supporting charities is something I can get behind. You know, I'll help as much as I can, but I was very wary about the fact that I'm only a small channel and I wanted to know why I was approached because even though I have a fantastic community, it's still not large enough to have that much of an impact. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, a, I'm not well known on the platform. They basically go on to say about, they checked out me Instagram. And anyone who's seen my Instagram knows full well that I only have about five short clips of previous streams and maybe like three, four pictures of a look I've done for a previous stream. Not a lot to go on, to be fair. So they asked me what I'd like to know more about it. And at this point, I'm feeling a bit shitty because the original post I made was to help another streamer. It was not for personal gain. Naturally, I wanted him to have some sort of bonus from this. I wanted it to be for him. So they start listing the perks of the affiliation. Note here, they called it ambassador. These are all the perks. Sounds promising. Then you get the rest of the perks. And I said, let me go have a chat with them. I still haven't. As you can see, I'm still waiting an answer. So I tell them I want to go ahead because at this point I, I believe it, right, okay? Not going to lie. So here you can see they're not really interested in the fact that I'm still awaiting the answer from the friend. They just give me a quick call. Then they proceed to tell me to basically order from the site. They tell me again that we they donate the portion of the sales to charities. So take note again, they're pushing the significant impact and... Here you'll see me asking for proof because I'm just not sure about it at this point. I feel like something's really wrong here. Notice how they send this so-called proof in a Instagram story link, which has some very questionable receipts, let's say. And not to mention how they make a point of saying if you want one of our recent receipts to email we're not going to do that because you can grab IP addresses from emails. So, as you can see, I am questioning the whole offer again because I've started to notice slight changes. But then I noticed they were using pictures that I'd seen on other things across the internet. So, I asked them about that and they claim to have the license for them. As you can see here, they're both Adobe stock images. We have the license for them. In fact, all the images are licensed by us. Right. So then, you know, here's me saying, uh, sorry for all the questions, but, you know, I've, I've, I've got to make sure that this is legit, basically. So after doing a bit more digging around on the Internet, I noticed they are uh, they're basically a Shopify business. And I pretended that I was purchasing purchasing something and it redirected me to Shopify and I needed to do that to confirm they were actually linked to it because it could have been a, a mislink let's say and they confirmed it they are actually linked to that Shopify so again with the offers and here we have the Instagram story of one of the receipts take note there's a giant red arrow pointing at the logo I contacted that said charity in that donation receipt and this is their response. Explain that Alpha Riggs. 
So after receiving this email, I'm more inclined to believe that it is a scam. Why would a legitimate charity um, research company say that they hadn't received donations from uh, a company that's claimed and so says has receipts? But a few more points that I found during my research. Alpha Riggs does not tag any of the charities that they claim to donate to. Like, usually in most cases you will see either the charity or the donator making tags to and from with thank yous or, you know, any sort of post saying we've donated this much, we're happy to help or whatever. And there's none of that. There's absolutely none of that. All the accounts like the one shown in the very first screenshot where it scribbled out the first part of the name and then it said underscore Alvarez. So many accounts, but none of them have any sort of posting, no content on the profiles, hardly any followers. Like they've got like six followers or whatever. And that's not normal for people who are staff for a legitimate business. So that was another thing that made me a bit like, yeah, this has got to be a scam. I just don't get it at all. I don't know why people prey on charities to line their own pockets. It's sick. And I think they should be outed. Simple as. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I honestly believe it's a scam, but, you know, I'm interested to hear what you think after seeing this. You know, drop your thoughts in the comments section below and let me know. Alright, take care guys.